Hello, I'm Regina and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to sublimate an all over wine mug. And when I say all over, I mean from the top of the wine mug to the bottom of the wine mug, even though it has the curve. So the supplies that you'll need for this particular um, project is going to be your image. <clears throat> so I've already printed my image. Now my image is a 10 by two, um, it's 10 by two wide and for the width and the height I have 4.5. And so how I derived, of course, those numbers, <laughs> I just measured the wine mug from the top to the bottom. And then I went around the entire mug, right? Um, the tumbler just to see how wide it was. So it depends on, you know, where you've purchased yours from. Your measurements could be a little different. So I also like to give myself just a little bit of wiggle room because I'm going to overlay the image, um, you know, when you're wrapping it just a little bit. And I don't want to have that much of a crease. And as you can see here, it kind of blended a little bit. Um, and that's because I had just a slight overlay right onto the other side. So um, you want to make sure, like I said, you want to make sure you have your wine mug, tumbler, sublimation piece of it. You want to have your heat fix tape or your hot fix tape, whichever you say. <laughs> your measuring tape, you need a pencil and your scissors. And so, and you'll see why we'll need a pencil once we get our image cut. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut my image out. I'm going to leave some of the white on the bottom and you'll understand why uh, once I start to show you, but I will cut all the white around the sides and the top off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll be back in just a sec and we'll get started with wrapping this and doing the, um, the cooking of it. Now I will use, for this one, I will use a convection oven. Um, I thought I'd be able to use like my Cricut <laughs> mug press, but this is just, too thin right it's not as wide um to fill the entire mug press on the bottom because of the curve so then I have another tumbler press that I thought okay I could probably use that and I have some of the different attachments for different size mugs but still because of that curve on the bottom it just wouldn't work so I pulled out my convection oven and um I actually was able to sublimate it that way and I did it on 375 for six minutes and for whatever reason I did rotate this I don't think you have to rotate it um, because it's just standing up right <clears throat> but I did rotate it um, every two minutes just to make sure that it wasn't cooking on one side greater than the other and it wouldn't burn so um, but again, your temperature range is based upon what kind of convection oven you have. I just know that this range and the temperature works for me. Okay. So going to go ahead and cut this out and I'll be back in just a second and we'll start wrapping. Okay. So now I have my image cut, you know, like I want it. So I've cut off the white around the top and the sides and I left some on the bottom. Um, so now what we want to do is first, I just always make sure I turn it over, um, just wrap it around just to make sure, you know, things are going to be okay, um, that I didn't cut too much off, etc., etc. right? So just want to shape it just to make sure everything's going to be aligned properly. And so that's how it's going to end up being, right? Um, and then I'll tape this down. But before I do all of that, you know, we have this bottom part that we have to deal with. So what I'm going to do first is, <clears throat> and this is where your pencil and your measuring tape will come in handy. So what you want to do is measure from the top of the tumbler down to where the curve starts. Okay. And hopefully you can kind of see this. Um, so for me, with this type of, uh, tumbler, the curve is probably around 3.76, right? Down here is where the curve starts, uh, to really curve downward. I'm not talking about the first part, the top part up here is the actual curve. So what I'll do is take my measuring tape. 
on my image. I've turned my image over. So this is the white side of the uh, image at this point. So what I'm going to do is measure down to 3.76 and take my pencil and I'm going to do this in a couple places and I'll just uh, put a dot here, right? And so I'll go through again in a couple more places because what I'm going to do is actually connect the dots um, by drawing a line. And that will help me to know where I need to not cut more of when I'm making slits. Because what we're going to actually do is make some slits kind of like the little flaps. <laughs> We're going to cut slits in this to make little flaps so we can pull it <clears throat> um, and wrap that around the bottom part of the, the tumbler, right? So all I'm going to do, and I have my ruler here somewhere, but I'm going to take another straight edge of something just so I can make a straight line. So we'll just use this. <clears throat> So I'm going to put this down here, line up my dots so I'll know where to make my line. So I'll just move this over a little bit. <clears throat> And again, so and I meant to tell you, make sure you have a ruler or some kind of other straight edge that you'll be able to um, connect your dots with. Okay, so as you can see, and I'll zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see it this way. I have um, my line going straight across um, with the pencil. You can kind of see it a little bit better here this way, right? So this is the line going straight across. And so now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> take my scissors and I'm going to start cutting flaps, right? So just, and this is the tedious part. So I'm going to cut little lines up until... I get to the actual line. So as you can see, I'm cutting like tears in the paper, but I'm not cutting it off of the paper. So I'm just going to keep doing this and try and make them if you can, you know, roughly the same size, right? So you want them thin, but not too thin, not too thick. So again, I'm just going through and I'm cutting slits here up until the line. So I've cut quite a few. So as you can see, this is what I've done. And again, this is at the bottom of the image. And this piece is what's going to wrap around the bottom part of our tumbler. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting the rest of these. And then I'll come back. I don't want to make you watch me cut, you know, the rest of it. So we'll go ahead. Um, you cut yours. I'll cut mine. And we'll be back and start to wrap this around the tumbler. Okay, so I have cut um, the entire bottom piece. So as you can see, I have a plethora of fans <laughs> on the bottom here. And so the next thing that I'm going to do, because I just want to make sure that the pencil, um, this is a light image that I have, right? So first off, I purchased the, um, the how can I put it? I purchased this image, like the Just the Girl Boss image off of Etsy, but I found this background on um, just Googling, right? Just Googling some backgrounds and I love pink. So I decided to put that image on this pink background. So, you know, of course you do it how you want to do it. Um, what I think from starting to do this this way I think it's best to use a light image and you'll see why. So because we're going to wrap this <clears throat> around the bottom, you're going to have some overlays and overlaps, right? So, and hopefully you can kind of see um, around the bottom of the curve here, 
you can see some of the lines and that's from how we wrap it right now it's kind of faint and you would think oh it's probably you know built in with a design that way which is pretty good but <clears throat> for me you know i would like to not see any lines at all if uh, if at all possible but i think if you have a darker image it might show more i think you know, I haven't tried it with dark yet, but I know so far with the light, um, I think it will work a little bit better because it'll kind of blend in a little easier if you can kind of understand what I'm trying to say. So what I'm going to do is now just take my eraser and I just want to erase the pencil mark. Um, now, if you do it very, very lightly, I don't think it's going to go through. And <clears throat> I just never know sometimes with sublimation paper what it's going to pick up on the image. So I just want to erase this off. So my pencil, my pencil marks are gone, right? That line and the little dots I had. <clears throat> so now I'm going to turn this over, turn my image upside down. I'm going to first off, go ahead and wrap my cup. So I have a little bit of an overlay, not too, too much. And take my tape and I'm going to wrap it tight. And I should have prepared myself and already pulled some of the tape out, right? Some pieces um, just to show. So And then I always pull very tight as I, you know, as tight as I possibly can to wrap around the cup. <clears throat> so get another piece of tape and I'm gonna do the same for this part. And again, I'm just pulling the image and doing it as tight as I possibly can. Okay, so now we have the fans here all around the cup. So this is the tedious part here <laughs> because what you're going to end up doing is pulling. Oops, sorry. I moved my chair and it moved everything. Okay, so what you're going to end up doing is, and I did like two strips at a time. You might be able to do it with three strips at a time. So what you're going to end up doing is pulling down the strips, right? Um, and so you can kind of see the gap here. So I have two strips. I'm pulling it down and I'm going to tape that image down. And so that's why I left some of the white on the edge, right? <clears throat> Just so I'll have enough room with that tape to pull it because you want to make sure you pull it as tight as you possibly can. And again, you're going to start to overlap as you continuously go around the cup, there will be some parts that are overlapping over the image. So that's why I'm saying too, you will, this may be better with doing, you know, light images, right? Or colors, backgrounds, if you have something with a background, something with a light color, um, just so the dark will not show those lines um, that much. So. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, and I'll just show you how to get started with this piece of it. So I'm gonna cut, I pull off, not too wide, a thin piece, right? And so for the first two, I'll push down. I'm gonna put the tape right in the, um, covering both of them. So as you can see here, I have the tape on two pieces. I'm gonna push down and then tape it. <clears throat> so I'm pushing tight too. So I'm pulling it as tight as I possibly can without tearing it. So as you can see with the gap, I have pulled down the image and taped it to the top, okay? Now, if you want your entire tumbler uh, even on the bottom, this piece to be covered, then make sure 
you measure, you know, far out to where you can get full coverage of ink. But for me, I just like to take it, you know, to the bottom. Um, you may have also one of those rubber covers that you may want to put on here, or you may want to even sublimate your logo right on the bottom as well. But for me, it doesn't matter. This is mine. Um, I'll use it <laughs> for me and I'll probably give this one away to someone. Um, also another girl entrepreneur, right? <clears throat> um, but anyways, so you want to continuously do this going around the tumbler. So it'll take you, you know, a couple minutes to do this, right? Um, and of course, after you've done this a couple times and you'll become a little faster with it. So again, I try and do like two pieces at a time and I put the tape on, push it as tight or pull it as tight as I possibly can. And then I pull it down. Now, once I go ahead and do this all around the cup, I also, because there is overlays, I also come back around and I'm going to end up taping the entire um, cup going around as well, just to kind of push that ink down a little bit more, right? When it's cooking. So we'll go ahead um, I'll go ahead and finish wrapping around the cup and you do the same and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've taped um, my cup all around, right? So as you can see too, um, going around when you're trying to do the overlays, uh, it looks like some of the pieces do stick up a little bit, right? So it's not as tightly um, secured to the cup. So what I'm going to do is take this tape and I'm going to now start to work my way around the cup, pressing down so that the image can um, really secure itself to the cup. <clears throat> So all I'm doing is just giving it some added layer of security, <laughs> right? And so I'm just going to start going around the cup with some of the tape over the slits that we have cut. And as I lay the tape down, you know, I just push down so that the image um, will not have the lines that are lifted. And so you do use quite a bit of tape, you know, as you do this. Um, and I'm finding that this particular heat tape, you know, I, I ordered this off of Amazon, but I think I may want to try like the Cricut heat tape and see if that's just a little better. Um, because what I notice is when I'm using my convection oven, and I try not to use that too much now since I have um, a tumbler press too, but when I do use it, it seems like this tape likes to kind of try and lift some. So that's why I'm just kind of trying to double secure it. Um, just to make sure, you know, it's tight on here. And if it does lift this top layer of tape some, it won't, you know, <clears throat> um, lift the bottom piece of it. That's what I'm hoping. So also it's going to be a short cook time, you know, six minutes. So we should be set um and what I will do too is because I have you know the pieces of paper from the overlay here I will go around the top part here 
again with some tape too just to make sure like you know i'm, I'm anal like that <laughs> so i just want to make sure everything is tightly secured um as we go to burn this cup well not burn it but burn the image i should say so some may think i'm overdoing it um but again to each its own I just want to make sure that nothing lifts and causes the image to not, you know, burn onto the cup, <clears throat> the ink, I should say. And, you know, as you start to do this too, you find what method works for you. I can just say that this works for me and I've seen the results. Um, so until they make a wine, tumbler <laughs> press this is what i have to do so my bottom is tightly secured with a uh, a lot of tape here so as you can see and i'm trying to put it more so in the light um just so you can see it a little bit better as well so everything is tightly secured around where i've cut the slits right so also I run another piece of tape and I do this with my tumblers also. I just like to run a piece of tape over the tapes on the side just in case um, for a little bit of edit security as well. And then I will go and run tape just around one layer around the top just to secure the top as well. And I always pull tight and then I go through it with my finger, right? And then I'll cut, you know, a couple slits so that the tape will lay down on the inside. Because I've noticed if I don't cut slits, then as it's trying to cook, um, you know, there's a little bubble underneath the, the tape because it's not tightly secured on the inside of the cup and it tries to um lift so i just don't want any problems you know with the top of the image as well so i'll just cut some slits in here just to make sure that the tape will stay down on the inside of the cup so once we get this piece done my um, convection oven is down in my garage, so I will go down and burn my image and, um, well, I need to stop saying burn my image. I need to cook <laughs> the tumbler so I can burn the ink into the tumbler, right? Sublimate it. Um, so I'll go ahead and go and do mine and then come back and then therefore you'll be able to see the results of my tumbler and let's hope everything goes well so as i go to cook mine then you go ahead and press yours also and we'll be back okay we're back so i have my um mug and it came out very nicely so you can see a little bit of the line from the overlap here not too bad, but you can still see the line. And for the bottom piece, and see, this is what I'm talking about with the overlap, right? And so I just wonder how will it look if you have a darker image or if you have an image at all. You may just have flowers or some other kind of design still with a white background, so it may not be as bad. But, um, you know, it does show here you know from the lines but you know what can you do at this point right <clears throat> um this is what we have to work with with trying to um sublimate the bottom pieces as well so for me it was a success so i now have my two sublimated wine tumblers so thank you for watching um hopefully this helped you and if you find a better way, let me know as well. <laughs> but um, until then, this is the method that I will use until, you know, I can find a better way. But um, 
I thank you for taking the time out to watch the video. You can like and subscribe to my channel and I will be posting new videos on different things that I do. Um, hopefully I, I tended to do it on a weekly basis, but um, had just been too busy with work. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And um, like I said, we'll try and post new things on a weekly basis. But until then, have a wonderful um, day today and a great week. Thank you so much. Bye.